All right, part of the show. Part of the show. Okay, we have YN. Shout out to YN. Shout out to YN. Hey, YN. YN says, okay, feeling a little triggered. My bad. Hi, guys. Okay, so I'm watching, I believe, episode 581, and y'all just spoke about what is okay for your woman to wear around the house. Ish referred to mo- uh, Ish referred to monitoring what his woman could and would wear as to not entice his homeboys based on her body type. And I had to pause to write this. In a previous relationship, a dude policed what I could wear because of my curvaceous and thick body. That policing, best word I can think to describe it right now, around the house seemed understandable, especially considering when his homeboys was over, like an Ish's example. Unfortunately, I love the plot twist, (laughs) that type of governing of my wardrobe turned wild when, at a family function, he decided that my garb was inappropriate. Mind you, we were surrounded by his family, a party for his gay uncles, that's shade, which was a luau, and his sister dressed me. He ended up getting loud and eventually picking me up to attempt to stuff me in his car, saying how he was taking me home. Yeah. His br- <laughs> we, all, we all seen that guy at the party. <laughs> yeah. The wolves is out. Carry, yeah, you're carrying yeah, your yeah, girl yeah. out over the shoulder. <laughs> put her in the back. Get, 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 get your fucking you. ass out of here. His brother had to check him hard. It caused a rift between them for a while. My question for Ish and any of you gents. What when does the do's and don'ts of what your girl wears become toxic? Do y'all ever consider the trust for your girl's decision making when deciding the boundaries of her dress? Since she directed this to you, I'm going to direct it to you. Oh, actually, this is a great question to ask with a woman around. It definitely is. Mm-hmm. And we happen to have a woman around. So I'm going to ask her to join us specifically for this in case Ish gets out of line. We have Ish's kryptonite, the Ish killer. Some of you know her as Melissa Ford. Others know her as Mel. Let's hit the round of applause. Come on, come in, Mel. Come on, help us out. You should have queued up. I'm looking for applause. I'm looking for some applause. Here we go. Hey, hey, come on, sit right. Come on, come on. It's a little different from last time you I were here. Mean. Get comfy. We're out the basement. Yes, we're out the <laughs> no basement. Shade. No, no shade. No shade. No, no, no shade, shade on the whatsoever. basement. Millions were made yeah. down there. Yeah, no. no it was, the that was the boots. We could see everything now. Yeah. I got dressed for you guys. Thank you for joining us. <sighs> I love you guys. We love, I love, you. We love you guys. You I do. And you look great. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. I try not to tell women that when they have like 30 years of hearing that. I'm like, you cool. <laughs> no, you know you what? Right. You, like, at, you that, look at right. At that point, you know, you, ha- you know how to judge certain compliments. You know, uh, you judge who they come from and what you believe the intention behind them is. Trained assassin. Yeah. She's a trained assassin. I mean, don't I look like a fucking ninja? Hello. A little bit of ninja. A little yeah. ninja, yeah. right? And, yeah. s- and sound like a ninja a little right. bit. And I'm sure I have the same results as ninjas. Mm. <laughs> I'm positive. <laughs> I'm positive of that one too. <laughs> Silently killing niggas. Uh, thank you for joining us. Yes. I also love your audience. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they love you too, by the they, way. I, I, do you know, I've been trying to. I've been trying to get uh, Mel to come fuck with niggas for a long time. <laughs> Let me just say that. And let me yeah. tell you something. L.A. is a fucking vacuum. OK, like once you get in there, like it just holds you, it just keeps you like you're just like swirling in that fucking airbags, so, you know, so I'm New York. I know. Yeah. Energy. But now the new digs. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could be the uh, studio manager. The studio manager. <laughs> Double duty. Oh, I could hear those relationship yeah. conversations already. <laughs> I don't know if it'd just be me having them. I'll be in the back like, hey, what are y'all motherfuckers talking about? OK. That yeah. would be awesome. It would be awesome. <laughs> we would love that. It would be amazing. Uh, ish. She asked a bunch of different questions. Um, well, her final question, I'll read it to you I, again. No, I got it. I got oh, it. Okay. I think the toxicity was already there. I don't think the woman's clothes um, makes the guy or his response toxic. I think that's an insecurity in the man already. That's my personal opinion. Um, however, there is, in my opinion, a line that is crossed. So when you step outside, if you're in a relationship, you represent your partner. Guy and girl. So 
Women oftentimes look at it from a one-sided thing. It's like, yo, dog, if your man got a big dick and he outside every day wearing basketball shorts or gray sweats, you have a problem with that. Stop acting like you wouldn't have a problem with that. You would have a problem with that. <laughs> have you ever policed your man's wardrobe? If that nigga tried to leave the house in gray sweatpants, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, I've never, I've never policed what my man. And this is more was... so about what your partner wears in the house when company comes over. See, so I said it was a bunch of different parts. Yeah. But so initially, last pod we had a conversation where um, I talked about. We asked like I forgot what the question was, but <clears throat> my thing was, yo, there was a time when one of my exes. She just will wear what we wear at home. Mm -hmm. But no, regardless of whoever was there, she'd continue you're to wear You're in your 20s, so sometimes women don't feel like that may be inappropriate. So I think that's the guy's job to step in and say, hey, yo, change But your. there was one little thing on your list that shook the table for mm -hmm. the audience. They looked at it like it was toxic, and I don't think so. No, I think tell that, her. So I said, yo, if your girl is voluptuous, mm -hmm. that's first, mm -hmm. right? Because we all dress for our body types, mm -hmm. right? So if your girl is voluptuous and she's walking around with a halter top on and some spandexes, I think that's inappropriate. Yo, go throw on one of my T-shirts, some sweatpants, some shorts or something, and rock out. The spandex is what shook the table I mean, for the audience. The, ah. No, it's, it's honestly, when you're walking around with a voluptuous body, you're literally walking around with an arsenal of weaponry. I mean, like that's just the reality of the situation. And the, mm -hmm. and the truth of it was really evident during one Super Bowl. Um, I can't remember which one it is. I feel like it was like 2007 when Indianapolis was playing Chicago. And they had a Lane Bryant intimates wear um, commercial. And they've had Victoria's Secret, you know, lingerie commercials all over the TV. Mm -hmm. Didn't matter. It did Super Bowl, Monday, whatever the fuck. But nobody said anything. Mm -hmm. These Lane Bryant models, and if you know what Lane Bryant is, mm -hmm. it's, it's for much, it's for uh, curvier women. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were just everything. The cup runneth over. I, they, lo <laughs> they looked so good. And I'm straight as they come, but these women looked yummy. The uproar was unbelievable. <laughs> You'd this. swear that these women had just walked a catwalk with with KKK hoods on or something like that. From the uproar, the the how obscene and inappropriate. I was like, obscene, really? Full figured Same. women's bodies are obscene. I was like, the Christian crowd needs to just, you know, fundamentalists need to just sit the fuck down, okay? So, but that's the reality of the situation. So for me... Give me your Twitter handle my, in case they disagree with you. <laughs> Go ahead and give me your Twitter handle in case they disagree with you out there. So, no, but so I'm not finished. So even in my 20s, I had optics, you know? And that's just for me. When I was home, chill for me would be sweatpants. And I would be extremely cognizant of who came through the door, even though this is my domicile, mm -hmm. this is where I live, and I can make the rules. If my man is there and his friend just came over, you know, it's different from me being on a magazine. This is front center, this is personal. Mm -hmm. I don't want, I just, for my own comfort level, I would want to be a little bit more um, discreet because I just. I and just, understanding your weaponry. Yeah, yeah, you know, and like people will be, will probably be like, but you were on the fucking covers of magazines and you're underwear, bitch. Like, mm -hmm. what the fuck? And I'm just like, mm, that's different. That was it's, different. Yeah. It was it's like, different. it was, it was, you know, I, it was a profession. Yeah, if you know a, know a chick saying? does yeah. porn, I mean, she want to fuck little every ex. dude <laughs> running around the street. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's the same exactly. Thing. And so at one point, like, I had like a female roommate and she had a boyfriend. And anytime I knew her boyfriend was coming over, it's my apartment where I pay the rent, but you better believe I put on sweatpants, T-shirt, whatever, I, because I, I, do, I don't want there to be any, I don't want there to be like, you know, any coloring outside the line. I don't, don't want there to be that? any, you know, questions That's of, well, your intention. Now, did she respect me in the same way? Absolutely not. Mm. I had a guy come over, this bitch was in fucking booty shorts, and I was just like. <laughs> did she have a booty That's, though? There you go. Let me tell you something. She walked out the room. He was just like, 
Girls do that a lot. Not even on <laughs> her <laughs> best day it's and your worst would I. I said, you don't even have to tell me that, honey. No, but I mean. It's just the fact that she's doing it. It's a, just it's the a, fact that she yeah. did it. Everybody I was just like, I'm in the wrong Melissa fucking situation. Ford to fuck the roommate. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? What are you talking about? I mean, stranger things have happened. No, Joe Biden.